friends, family, welcome back to another one. Another Christmas decorate. This time we're doing the kitchen. Again, here's the empty kitchen. We already did the living room and the other sitting area. So let's go. Here's my collection of Christmas mugs that I've collected over the years. And I'm going to stick these next to my Keurig. I wish I could have an adorable coffee bar with all the Christmas decor, but it's not realistic for me to have all my clutter on display because I only drink black coffee in the mornings and then I save those sugary coffees for when I have a sweet tooth. So here I am doing my tear tray now with my gingerbread decor and other Christmas stuff. Gingerbread Village sign above the stove is from Hobby Lobby. The Gingerbread Pretzel Man is from at home. And then that gingerbread cookie jar is secondhand. Now I'm just adding ribbon to my canister and adding the spoon rest that I got from Home Goods. On the shelf, I have my best friend named Pup. Gingerbread guys from Hobby Lobby and the trees from Kirkland's as well as that Merry and Bright sign and then above the pantry the Merry Christmas sign is from Marshall's a few years ago and then those two wreaths are from the at-home store. Pretty sure I got that runner half off after Christmas from the at-home store and then that center candle is from my local grocery store and then I'm adding this red garland that I got from Michael's to my chandelier. And here I'm putting my itty bitty little dessert plates on my plate rack. They're cute for now, but they will be replaced, I'm sure. Back to my countertop, I'm adding this let it snow sign that's kind of vintage looking from Walmart. And that cookie jar is from the Michael store. And on my door, I'm adding a Kirkland's wreath. Then to the top of my cabinets, I'm adding that same garland that I had on my chandelier. That is all folks. Thanks for joining my kitchen decorate with me. Come back for the full Christmas home tour and see you then.